Hi, this is a review of the Aki Apollo portable wireless Bluetooth speakers. These are Aki biggest Bluetooth speakers I've seen so far. It features a 3D surround sound, it has do 5 watt driver. It's made out of total metal construction and it's pretty heavy. It does feature Bluetooth 4.0 and it has about 8 hour playback time. Let's go ahead and unbox it and see what's inside. You got your big package here. Got some foam on top. You have a little Aki piece of paper, nothing there. You have the user menu. You have the speaker itself, which is protected by foam and three side, and it is made out metal and really heavy. Underneath, you got a braided 3.5 millimeter audio cable. You have a braided uh, USB to micro USB charging cable, and you also have a big carrying pouch for the speaker itself. So here's the Use a menu for the Apollo SK-A1. It say here, here the call of the wow. Let's see what's going on. You have a variety of different language here. You have the package content, overview of the control of the unit. You have LED specification though. You have uh, how to use it, how to power it up, how to pair it, 3D surround sound, and then uh, some frequency ask question. Also, how to make a phone call, and uh, some more detail here. And that's basically about it. It looks like you have the 18 month warranty from Aoki for this product. Let's take a look at the speaker itself. Here's the speaker in the package. Let's take it out. Here's the unit. It looks like it make out metal with this grill being also metal. Has a little bit of small little scuff mark on it. You have the Aoki logo up here. So here's the control panel. You have the on off switch here which is a physical uh, mechanical switch. You have the uh, call and hang up here. You have the plus and minus for changing volume and also changing track. He had the auxiliary input here and then you have the micro USB charging port right here. The speaker itself feels really nice and really heavy in your hand. Uh, partly probably because of the metal construction and also the battery inside. Bottom you have these three big uh, rubber feet. As you can see all this is made out of metal and it feels really nice to the hand. It does have a little bit of rough feeling to it. So the speaker on each side you have a basically kind of like a base port. It is not open, it's actually closed. Uh, there's some piece of metal here, but around here is by uh, rubber, and you can kind of see a little push. So when I guess when music's playing, it will basically balance out on each side. Find the speaker is firing now, use direction. And let's go ahead and turn it on and uh, pair it with my device. Turn it on by this way. You have a little small blue LED here, and right now it's uh, first time, so it's gonna set in pairing more already. On my phone here, I have the Aoki Apollo. Go ahead and connect to it. There we go, we are now connected and we're good to go and now it's flashing blue uh, one in a while to let you know that it's this connectivity. So I have a little small YouTube video on my channel, I'm going to play it right now. Kind of give you an idea, the volume is currently at about 35-40%. 3 inches wide and an almost an inch thick. Sound really nice. You have the LED indicator, have the Omega logo. You can pause by pressing the pause and uh, hang up button in the middle here and it will resume by the same button. Yeah, uh, nothing on your side. If you press next back and forth you will change basically song or track and if you hold down you will change the volume and when you change the volume it will also show up on the iPhone here. I got a little short song here I can play, can I give you an idea? Really nice bass. You can see the bass is now moving on the side here. It moved the whole side so the whole side of the bass port are moving. While the Aki Apollo is playing music, you can switch between 3D and 2D. So right now it's in the normal mode. Uh, what happened is you would, I will play a song right now and uh, I'm going to press both the volume up and volume down together at the same time. Right now it's flashing blue. It will be flashing blue and green in between and that's how you know it's in 3D. And it does sound pretty nice. I'm going to give you a demonstration here, kind of give you an idea. Play song. Volume up. So now I'm going to do both of them together. Now we get a nice surround sound. I don't know how good my camera will pick it up, but it sounds pretty good. So I've been using the Aoki Apollo Bluetooth speaker for the past two weeks or so, and the experience has been so far very good. The speaker itself again has a very nice hefty feel to it. It feels pretty premium with all the metal construction around it. The sound quality is really good and when you turn it on to the uh, basically the simulator surround sound it sounds kind of enveloping and give you a really nice uh, feeling around in a small room. In my office here the dimension is about 12 feet by 15 feet. The sound basically fills this whole room and it sounds really nice. 
There is one thing I do notice that because of the hot on off switch here, if uh, one time what happened is I turned it on and then I had the power but then later my phone went out of range. It basically didn't go to sleep, it stayed on through the blinking mode forever and after about two days the battery actually died. So just uh, keep in mind when you're not using it and uh, you turn it off and you don't leave it on the on position, it doesn't seem to go to standby mode at all. The other thing that you do need to pay attention is when you pick this unit and move it around, you do want to pick it up by here and not hold it to the side because you actually might touch it and damage these things so I try not to mess with them too much. The speakers also receive phone calls pretty well. There is a hidden microphone, I don't know exactly where it is but uh, there is a microphone somewhere in the unit but when uh, the car are coming through I talk to the other person they hear me clearly and I can hear them pretty clear. There is not a lot of echo coming back to them so that's uh, that's very good. Take about 4 hours to charge the internal 2200 milliamp batteries. It's advertised for 8 hour usage and in my general using on and off for about an hour or two every day. It does last pretty long. It goes about almost a week before I have to recharge it. So I hope my short little review helped you in your purchase decision. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.